Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If uh, you're new, well, I guess it'd be welcome, not welcome back. If you're just returning, it's a little bit something different today. So as you can see behind me, I'm dead in the middle of phase two of my project to get my screen up. And I'm stoked because I think I found some cool DIY stuff to make it look like it's a high level paid impact screen. So pay attention for that as soon as I can get this wrapped up. But the ice apocalypse, which I mean means it got down to, I think it got down to maybe 15, 20 degrees here in Austin, Texas. It's cold. Prior to that, I was actually using a space heater I'll show you here in a bit that uh, that was, you know, we'd turn it on 50 degrees, heat the place up. I'd get my practice in and uh, I would go, but it's not working. It's, it's cold. It's cold to the point of, let's see. Where are we at right now? Outside's 41, inside's 50. So, as always, if it's, I mean, it's 50. I mean, man, am I being dramatic with my, my, my hat? Yes, I'm being dramatic. And I'm also letting you see the big pile of junk. This is truly doing a DIY project. I don't have anywhere else to put it. It's like Anchorman and I'm locked in a cage of emotion. But actually, it's just a bunch of junk I can't get rid of. So, hang out, come back. Let's check out this heater that I got. So here's what I got. <clears throat> I picked up the Big Buddy. Uh, Mr. Heater produces a whole line of um, heaters that are indoor safe, portable. Uh, they use the one pound propane tanks. And this particular model has two tanks that you can use. I'm only using one, mostly because they're all sold out. Um, <clears throat> but what this is, is it's, it's just a propane heater. You can actually attach a bigger propane bottle to it with, um, with a cable. The one that I bought was a Mr. Heater cable and you have to have a filter with it. And it says that it's a high pressure hose which releases oils and stuff. So I'm getting a different um, cable altogether. I will have the link in below on exactly what I bought uh, for this. But the idea behind this <coughs> is it's just the propane, it reminds me of my grandparents' house actually, their heater in their bathroom. But uh, what I bought, and this is a hack, a, a hiking hack, well, say that more than once. Um, this is a thermodynamic fan. That's about as college as I'm ever gonna get. Um, so what it does is it actually uses the heat off of the propane and it starts spinning the fan. So if I were just use this, the heat's gonna pretty much go straight up. It'll kind of start coming out, but it's gonna go up and it'll come out. Now, mine is just a standard two car garage. I don't have extra with any direction. Um, so right now, <clears throat> right now we are at 51 degrees inside. Now, I'm also gonna be releasing a hack for my garage and I actually insulated the garage door, which is helping retain at least 10 to 18 degrees of heat in my garage overnight when we have this um, cold weather. So let's actually just jump into it. it lighting this sucker is that simple. So I'm gonna hold it down for a little bit. We're gonna put it on a low setting. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer and I'm not gonna force you to watch the whole thing with me, but let's start the timer. Let's start the, start the stopwatch. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way up. And then we should see the fan kick on here shortly. 
we'll, we'll speed ramp it so you don't have to wait around for it. And then I'm gonna get my cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit down behind the camera and we're gonna watch the speed ramp of how fast it takes to heat it up over where I would be hitting golf balls. Now, since I'm still building this, this is actually where I'd be working, but I'm a, I'm a big wimp when it comes to cold. I've documented it before, I wear a heated vest for crying out loud. Um, so, okay, so the fans kicked in, took about 45 seconds for that, and it's already starting to put heat off. So, let's back it up. Back it up, back it in, let me begin. All right, oh, and one thing, if you didn't notice this hoodie, love this hoodie. It's uh, from uh, The Legend Company, I'll put a link below. It's coolest, because I mean, I'm not gonna wear, I, I play Titleist all the time, right? You gotta have fun with golf. So uh, check them out, they've got some really funny, funny t-shirts. Um, when it gets warm enough, I'll take my hoodie off and I'll show you the t-shirt the I'm wearing right now. Um, free plug. They, I bought all my stuff. Um, I just love it. I just love it. So let's uh, let's check out this ramp, speed ramp. degrees up to 62 this is where I transition to my portable heater that um, is electric so just to wrap up um, on this as you can see um, I attached the fan just with uh, these uh, pliers these grip prop pliers I, I do plan on actually creating a better foundation but I wanted to go ahead and test this out and get it out um, since it's perfect weather with uh, how cold it is and you can get a feeling. Um, obviously, um, I don't need my hoodie anymore. So, also from the Legends, our, the Legend website, love the shirt. Again, tons of cool shirts. But um, <clears throat> I'm very comfortable in just a t-shirt, which I usually am not. Um, I can practice, I can work on this. The heat's going. Um, I'll, one of the main keys is have a carbon monoxide detector. Got to be safe. Um, as well as you'll see a kind of a weird glitch, kind of around 47 minutes or so, um, because the butane bottle that I had pulled was from my camping gear. I thought it was full. It wasn't. Um, so I actually refilled it, and you can refill the those tanks with this cheap adapter and you instead of spending ten dollars on a brand new bottle you can spend 50 cents to fill it uh, just directly from a tank right there as you can see um, so once I actually get it to the temperature I want I pick this bad boy up at Lowe's which is great because it has a remote control and when you turn it on you have different modes on it. So you can have it to where it's just high and you can, it has this spinner in it. So it's a ceramic uh, heater and it just spins around the coil. Uh, it has uh, high, it has low. Uh, you can have it to where it only uh, rotates partial, half or full. And so I really like using this because it allows me to continue to keep the room heated. Uh, it also has been, yeah, I'll get this. So of all times for your heater to go out, it's when it's super cold at night. This thing has been amazing because it also has the ability to use a thermostat so we can set it down to whatever it is. It kicks on. I. Uh, put a pillow against it because it's 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 kind of bright at night but this thing has kept our bedroom very comfortable 
uh, while, the, while I'm waiting on the heater guy to fix it. As always, click like, subscribe, and click the bell notifications. So I've got some great videos coming out. I'm going to be uh, working on an idea for this gap right here. Uh, this was based off Gung Ho's um, layout for doing a screen and I'm basically modifying it. Once I get it all written up, um, I'm actually gonna publish it. Publish it? That sounds fancy. No, I'm just gonna put it on my website so you can download it. Um, but I will be doing a full video on everything. Everything. I mean, holy smokes. I may, may have I gone overboard because it's all I've known to do. Uh, but anyway, more to come. I'm babbling, which means it's time to go. So guys, keep it findable and stay tuned.